Hello everyone! Buying a pair of Cyberloxes in each color and color combination you want can be really expensive, so adding your own color can be a good and way cheaper alternative to achieve the same result. Today I'd like to show you how to add colored green to a full black Cyberlox pair or to any other Cyberloxes, your base doesn't have to be black of course. First of all, place your crin on the top of your fall and adjust it to the length you want it to be and then you can cut it. Remember that tubular crin is very stretchy, so if it is too stretched while taking your measures, it will be a lot shorter than expected. Don't put any weight to it. I'd advise you to let your crin fall on your laps instead of falling on the floor. To prevent both ends from unstitching, secure them by rolling the ends into the crin. Once this is done, you can attach your crin to your fall. Make a buckle by squeezing your crin. Make it symmetrical if you want the collar to be of an equal length on both sides, or make an end longer than the other if you want it to be of different lengths. Insert the buckle from underneath. and put the two ends into the buckle. Then firmly pull the crin in order to close the buckle. To prevent it from falling off and to lessen the volume at the top, tie a simple knot. That's it! Don't hesitate to regularly put your cyberloxes on during the process so you can see if there are any adjustments to make. You can easily change the colors by simply untying them. You can add as many colors as you want, but don't hesitate to take off some of the base so it doesn't get too voluminous if you want to add lots of colored crin. And there you go! Hope it helped! If you have any questions, feel free to ask them! See you next time!